So amongst the other circadian rhythm disturbances one can think about, let me just briefly mention delayed sleep phase syndrome. This is when people have a terrible problem trying to get to sleep at night at a reasonable time and then of course they can't get up the following day. And David Parks at King's and we together um, treated people with this delayed sleep phase syndrome with melatonin to advance them. It worked to treat um, and it has proved in the end uh, to be the one that clinicians have taken up the most, delayed sleep phase syndrome treatment um, with melatonin. There's also something called advanced sleep phase syndrome but there's very little data out there and it's very hard to manage so we won't go into that. Then numerically the most important for rhythm disturbance are of course shift workers. Uh, anybody who uh, goes from day shift to night shift will take, if at all, a long time to adapt to that night shift. And most night shift workers, the vast majority, according to meta-analyses and reviews, do not adapt to night shift. Even if you're on permanent night shift, your circadian system doesn't shift properly. It may shift a little bit, but not the full hog for most people. And this is because when you go home after work, everything is on a normal time sequence at home. Kids have got to go to school and lunch and dinner happen at the usual time, the social contacts are at the usual time. And it's very hard to completely adapt your behaviour to, to night shift. But we were um, interested in shift work in two different ways. One was if you could help night shift workers to adapt back to day shift, using melatonin to help them shift. But the other one was something that came out of the blue. Around 1995, uh, I was asked by um, the medical director of an oil company if I would have a look at the uh, circadian status of their workers because he was concerned about uh, accidents on the night shift, which might or might not be due to their workers are being unadapted to night shift and in fact most of the work we did out there was funded by the health and safety executive who were very generous for many years.